So welcome back to my channel. It's Caroline. I'm really, really happy about today because we're in Koblenz. Beautiful corner of Germany, it's called. And it is known as the most beautiful part in Germany. Deutsch, Deutsches Eck. So the person on top of the horse is the first German emperor, William I. And he was really, really important in the unification of Germany. Now, this name, Deutsches Eck, comes from the Teutonic Order in 1216. That was really, really important here. And it's just a really fun place to come. There's a really fun atmosphere here. You can see people have climbed all the way up. And it's a nice place to look at the fortress over on the right. So yeah, it's a really cool place. And I think if you're coming here, you should check this out. So there's some really helpful information here and it tells you that Copeland's got its name from the Romans who named this uh, because of the confluence between the rivers and the castle of the confluence where the Moselle and the Rhine flow together. But more than that, I mean the history is great but also it's just a really nice place to wander around. It's really cosmopolitan, there are lots of cool shops here and it's just really, really pretty, really well preserved. The main square and if you want to go for some food and drinks, this seems to be the place to go. Ice cream cafe, ice cream gelaterias are so big here. And then we have shishes. shishes. So we're in Koblenz and what's more German than to get a Donner, German Donner kebab. So I'm gonna let you know how this one is. Which one did we go for? Fabian's already, God, you're diving into that fast. It's just so good. I think this is the pork one. Yeah, I'm not being veggie today. Oh well. Everyone's enjoying. This place is called Taylo Cup. I'm here right by the River Rhine because it's built in the intersection. This was built 8 BC, so it's like super old as a defensive place. But the way they have it now is the castle is over there and you can get a cable car across. So there's the cable car start and you can get a cable car over to the castle, which is exactly what we're gonna do. And you know what? You're coming with me. So you can get a combined ticket for 18 euro for both the cable car and the castle. So I definitely think it's not prohibitively expensive. This is one of the main spots if you're visiting Koblenz to visit, which is the castle. I can see why this is a World Heritage Site because it just, all around you, you've got the, the Mosul and the Rhine and you've got fantastic evergreen forests and just, yeah, stunning scenery. So yeah, let's go and check out this castle. So I'm able to use the same ticket that I used on the cable car, now going into the castle. So this is proving to be quite useful. Um, so yeah, let's see if this one works. And it says go, it even says in English, wow. So first impressions, I've come in, we've come into the castle. There is writing up about the history of the castle, but so far it's in German, but maybe there will be more in English, but they do have headsets. So there are cool pictures, but again, it is in German. Fabian, what's the correct pronunciation of this castle? Ehrenbreitstein. Testung Ehrenbreitstein. So we've come around the corner. Um, I don't even know what this is. They must be the ghosts of the castle. Mm -hmm. 
Do you want to give a rough translation, Fabian? It's a big castle. Thanks. Anything else? It's divided into three parts. The main bit to defend, then residences, and the third bit that we didn't hear because you asked me to translate. You have your plan. Canto means song. And it's said to be done maestoso, which means majestically. I'm guessing this is a mock-up of what it looked like. Lovely. So this obviously won awards. And it says on the right, made in pain. It's lovely. This is really random. I don't really know what's going on. And then there's a random safe here. I'm not gonna lie, I've come out of that exhibit feeling rather confused. Oh, we're going into prison. Great. The constant German does make it feel a bit scarier. Oh, Christ, that guy in the middle looks like he's trying to pass something really big. <laughs> or that he has hemorrhoids. He has that look about him. This is impressive. So the next part of the castle is they're showing us 70s living, 60s, maybe more 50s. Really lost here. Really lost. This is weird. So by far the most worthwhile part of this so far of the castle are the views. And I'm gonna show you them. 